Alright, so today we're making our true and false egg. Well, it's, it's really just a, a, a false, false egg. What we're doing is we're taking a cauliflower puree, which we have here. Uh, we're going to thicken it with methocell, which is allowing us to create a hot gel. And instead of sti sticking a, uh, an egg yolk back in the middle, like we did with our, our false egg, we're actually going to stuff hollandaise sauce in the center. And the way we're able to do hollandaise sauce is what we've made is a lime pickle brown butter hollandaise that we've also uh, added uh, methocell uh, to it. It has uh, methocell F50 in it at 1% and it allows us to have hollandaise sauce which you can see here you can pipe out. Okay. So methocell allows us to create hot gels. This is our straight up cauliflower puree. You can see how it flows. It's got a nice fluidity to it. Okay, soft, and then we've added just that 1% of methocell to it, and that's an A15C. And with working with methocell, there's a lot of different varieties, and they are specific to certain recipes. So you need to get the ones that uh, recipes certainly call for, otherwise you're not going to have the same results. And this now has 1% 1, 1 of the A15C in it. So to make our false egg, we're, we're borrowing from uh, the... Arzac preparation of, of cooking an egg uh, in plastic wrap. They, they do it, they, uh, they wrap a whole egg in it, and they season it with a little bit of uh, truffle oil, a little bit of, uh, I believe there's goose fat in there, and then they steam the egg, wrap in plastic wrap, and you look like so you've got this beautiful purse. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to make a purse with that cauliflower, okay? So we use little demi toss cups here, and what we do is we take a spoonful of the, the cauliflower base, and we put it in there, Okay. Get it nice and even around there. Okay, spread it out a little bit. Then we take hollandaise sauce in a bottle. Yep, you're right, hollandaise sauce in a bottle, and we pipe a nice uh, yolk uh, in the center. Then what we're going to do is we take a little bit more of the cauliflower and we come around it. Okay. We want to completely enclose the hollandaise sauce so that it does not leak out. Now what's interesting about methocell is they've got different gelling properties and temperatures. Now what that allows us to do is, is well, make this false egg. Okay? We're then going to pick the plastic wrap up and around. Okay? And you can see the, the yolk itself is now or the, the hollandaise sauce has been enclosed in the cauliflower. Okay, now I just take a piece of twine here and I'll twist this up. It can be gentle but firm. And a little bit of tying here. I'm going to tie a base there and then what we can do is we can come around underneath. Okay. That's going to tighten it up for us. And then bring the ends around and tie it up. Okay. So I've got another one I, I've put together here as well. You can see it. Nice little purse there. Okay. We're going to drop this into just simmering water. Okay. I'll talk briefly while it's simmering. I'll talk briefly about the methocell itself. The A15C gels roughly around 130 degrees, whereas the F50 doesn't gel until uh, it reaches oh, 150 degrees. And the gels are different as well. The A15C forms a, uh, a, 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 a firm gel, which is, when uh, heated, is very similar to a cooked egg white. Whereas the F50 never forms a gel, so it actually uh, just stays uh, warm and fluid and thickens a little bit and it allows us then to, to reheat the hollandaise sauce. So it's going to be a, a couple minutes heating there. While that's going on, I'll just make a couple more of these. Okay, and we can go through it again very simply. So again, the base goes down. We spread that out. And what's exciting about these eggs is you can actually make this base preparation 
and you can freeze them and then pull them out of the freezer. Okay, what that allows you to do is make them all up ahead of time, freeze them, and then uh, when you're ready to do your, your dinner party or, or service for that matter, pull them out and just drop them in simmering water and they're ready to go. And if you're lucky enough to have uh, liquid nitrogen on hand, you can do it almost instantly. Make the egg, drop it in liquid nitrogen, frozen, there's going to be no degradation in the freezing process, ready to go. So again, we're going to come around here. and cover up our yolk. What's also exciting about this is, well, you've got a really, you know, you can combine a lot of fun flavors. We're doing it in a savory preparation here with the uh, cauliflower and hollandaise. Though you could actually put a uh, uh, an ice cream base on the outside, a uh, anything from, you could have coconut on the outside, and then put, well, uh, just a, a, a very delicate uh, caramel custard on the inside, and then and then cook it up. And so you have this wonderful uh, dual texture, dual flavored, uh, warm uh, false egg. So again, we've, we've wrapped it up tight. Okay, coming around underneath here, we are then going to just tie one on the bottom there and then we just come around this allows it to cinch up nice okay once that's cinched we can tie it up come back over this and voila another egg so we've taken these out of the pot and you can see that they are nice and firm okay beautiful now what we do is we just take our scissors, okay, and then we'll just we just snip right underneath here, just to open up the plastic wrap, okay. And we open it up, and you can see this gorgeous, gorgeous egg. And so if you were then to put this on a plate. Okay, we could then put it right there as part of a dish. So here we go, breaking into our egg with a beautiful, soft, molten hollandaise covered around the outside of a cauliflower. So it's really surprising, a lot of fun. A hollandaise, beautiful flavor, texture. Uh, and again, we've got the best of both worlds. We've got um, no egg white, because I don't really like egg whites. I like cauliflower uh, as, a, as a medium. And then we've got hollandaise on the inside. And I mean, can you, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just absolutely wonderful. So we figured we'd share uh, the approach and the ideas behind our false egg. And hopefully, uh, you can have fun with it. We do.